Cookie Swirl. See? <laughs> It is time! I just came back from the Dollar Tree Inn. You guys, this is the most amazing Dollar Tree finds. Yeah, I kind of went crazy. Do you see all these bags? I've got decor. I've got beauty. I've got amazing things to show you. We just kind of have to just pick a bag and just go. Let's start things off with bag number one. This is all of the things that I picked up from the Valentine's Day section, and they even started to get St. Patrick's Day things out. So as you can see from this giant rainbow, how beautiful is this? This is beautiful decor. I mean, you can have this out all year round. It's got like that tinsely piped rainbow to make up the rainbow. And they even went the extra mile and made the clouds fluffy. So it's actually like a fluffy texture. So it's not just flat and it's not just felt. I also found these adorable little stickers. They're like kind of semi-raised. They're not quite puffy, but they're slightly raised up and they're like a really nice metallic foil. These hearts look really fun. They kind of look like poppets. So these will be fun to add into like a junk journal. You guys know I love junk journals. They had really cute Valentine's Day stickers. These are little shakers. So you can see the little confetti red hearts shaking in every single one of the little puff stickers. And of course, these are like super dessert themed. So there's little shakes, there's cupcakes. What is this? This is even like a cute like little kawaii burger. There's donuts. Oh, look at the little ice cream cone. All filled with those little shaker confetti. I thought this was a pretty cute little gumball decor. It says, I choose you. Little gumball machine with glitter. It's just on that little particle board. But how cute, that's really cute. They had really nice candy. Candles. And I liked these ones because they're kind of twisty. This one looks like a bunch of licorice candy. Look at these, look how nice they are. So instead of just like your normal basic pillar candles, go for these like twisty kind of lollipop looking like ones. Now the card section, they have some amazing cards and we know how expensive cards can be. This one is an ice cream truck that is delivering hugs and kisses. And what I was thinking too is if you wanted to, again, you guys know I like doing scrapbooking and junk journaling. Because this is like a 3D kind of card, you can actually use Use this in your scrapbooks too. This one says, hope your Valentine's day pops. You butter be my Valentine. You mocha me happy. This one's like a little spinner game wheel. Oh, okay, you can't actually spin it, but you can move the little arrow around. So you can pick what you think your Valentine is better than. Are they better than pizza? Are they better than donuts? Are they better than tacos? I don't know, it's, it's up for you to decide. And there's little cute foods with faces on the inside of the card. Oh, I love, you guys know, I love that. Any type of food with a face on it. Hello, Shopkins. <laughs> I love them, oh, which is why I love this card. I'm waffly fond of you. It's got little googly eyes and it's holding a butter heart. That was bag number one. Bag number two, are you ready to cry? I couldn't believe I found these. I found the most delicious socks in the whole entire world. I couldn't believe they actually had branded socks. Reese's socks, look at those delicious peanut butter cups. Chips Ahoy, Ritz crackers, Cheez-Its, Pop-Tarts, Raisin Bran, yes. I wanna know who out there is a fan of Raisin Bran. I love all cereal. Fruit Loops, these ones are really great. Frosted Flakes, and are you guys ready? Time to start crying. They had Animal Crossing socks, yes. Animal Crossing New Horizon socks, and it's a double pack. I, I just could not believe it when I saw these. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? How do they have this? How is it just a dollar? 25. So your feet can look like a treat on Valentine's Day too. Love it. All right, that was bag number two. Let's go to bag number three. And it's filled with the cutest plushies I've ever seen. Well, wait a minute, that I've ever seen? Well, that I've ever seen this year for Valentine's Day at Dollar Tree. Yes, I can say that. Cause I've seen some really cute plushies out there. Whoa, no, okay, not that. This one has a Reese's peanut butter cup, but this is for your dog. It is a little plushy dog toy, but you can display it or you can give it to your puppy for Valentine's Day. Look at the little fuzzy friends. They were just putting these out whenever I went. So this is a little cake slice, a little heart cupcake, your cute little donut Mwah, with a kiss. And this purple shake that I'm sure Grimace would love. Mm. The rest of these plushies, they come in like little duo packs. How cute is this? Bacon and eggs. And yes, you get them both for a dollar. This one's a burger and fries, a donut and a coffee and oh. I'm gonna cry again, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I mean, they're just too cute. They're just too cute. Can you imagine getting one of these little duos for Valentine's Day and maybe like your bestie keeps one, you keep the other one. It's kind of like the plushy version of a friendship necklace. I mean, they're so cute. They're just so cute. All right, now time for bag number four. Now these are items up from the beauty aisle. So let's see, what do we have? Ooh, a lot of good things. How about a Hershey's Kisses bath bomb? It actually says it's going to be milk chocolate scented. So it's gonna be 
chocolate scented water. Can you imagine your bath smelling like chocolate? I wonder if it's gonna make like chocolate water too. I don't know. Let's see what color it looks like. I wonder if it's gonna be shaped like a Hershey's Kiss. Oh, <gasps> you guys. It is, it's shaped like a Hershey's Kiss. And you know, it's very red, but there's a little bit of speckles in blue. So it, it might turn the water maybe like a purpley or a chocolatey kind of color. We've got a makeup brush cleaner, but this one is an ice cream shape. Cute little popsicle there. Just clean your brushes right on this little rubber ice cream. Speaking of brushes, they actually have the sweetest brushes there. I found two of them. Pink makeup brushes that actually have fake little sprinkles on the inside on the handle. I mean, I feel like this is a must. This is a must have Valentine's Day gift. If you know anybody who loves doing makeup, give them this and I'm sure they will be like, oh, those are too sweet. I found these two dessert bronzers that actually look like desserts. This one is cookie scented and it does look like a delicious cookie. It's interesting. This one they say is cupcake scented, but doesn't it look like a chocolate donut? And it looks like a, a sprinkly donut. But I guess it's like we're looking down at a cupcake because you can see the cupcake liner all the way around it. So here's what the cupcake one looks like. It's got little sprinkles around the compact. Oh yeah, yeah, it does have a really sweet smell. It's kind of like a, it's more like a sugar smell, like a sugar sprinkle smell. And the cookie one kind of smells the same too. It just kind of smells like a sprinkly sugar smell. That's so pretty. Like look at the center of the cookie. Kind of has like a light shimmer to it. I've got two glitter products here. This one's a glittery eyeshadow that looks really beautiful. I mean, this one looks like it can make all of your mermaid dreams come true. Here's what it looks like up close. So I don't know if this is completely filled with glitter or you know how they kind of just put like a little bit of glitter on the top and then it's like mostly like filled with like a jelly or like a filler underneath and it's like a clear gel base, like a Vaseline base. Let's touch it and see. Oh, that's good. Okay, it does feel like a little bit of a jelly Vaseline, but you can see I touched it pretty deeply and it's it's pretty compacted with glitter, but you can see the glitter payoff is really thin. It doesn't go on very thick. Oh, it left a moon and a star on my finger. So maybe not the highest quality, but definitely better than I thought it would be. These two glitter sets are for nail art. Nail art glitter. So this should just be two pots of loose glitter. Okay, they are starting to leak a little bit on my table here. So maybe the, the little containers aren't sealing it as well. So I don't want to open them, but they're so beautiful. that iridescent chunky glitter and then it's got like tiny little glitter too. So you can see the small glitter at the bottom. Those are beautiful. I think that's really beautiful. I got these two macaroon lip glosses. They've got fun little sayings like you look grape today. And this one says this is meant to be. What I really like about these is after you're done using the lip gloss, you can use them as little decor pieces since they're actually shaped like little macaroons. Got three delicious lip balms. Do you know what this one is scented as? This one is churro scented. I mean, the packaging is so cute. You can see the churro right on there. Ooh, Ooh, I already smell it. Um, I'm smelling like a Red Hots smell. Like it smells kind of cinnamony, but look at that color. Do you see that? It's like a really pretty metallic-y. Definitely reminds me of a churro. Ooh, it, it kind of smells like a spicy bubble gum. That's what I'm smelling. Bubble gum with a little bit of like a cinnamon bear. And then this one is also the macarons. So the churro one is in like a squeezy tube. This one is just like a regular lipstick that you apply. Mm, that one's really sweet smelling. This one kind of has a cotton candy smell. And this one is a s'mores. Yep, it's gonna be s'mores scented. This is a lip balm. So it's actually shaped like a little lipstick. Kind it looks like it has little deer spots on it. It looks like you just kind of open the bottom. Okay, I don't really know how you twist it up. Mine's not twisting up. Oh, okay, okay. I pushed the bottom and it made it come all the way up. It does not smell like s'mores to me and there's no way to get it to go back down. It kind of smells like a fruity candy. So I'm not getting a s'mores smell and nor can I get it to go back down. I wasn't expecting to push the bottom. So I, I guess I'll have to have it just kind of like that until I use it up. Okay, one more item in the bag. You got the Tutti Fruity Jelly Belly. Hang this in your car and make everything smell sweet air freshener. I love that they include like a little scratch and sniff right here. Yum, tutti frutti yummy bubble gum. Official jelly bean product and it's shaped like a jelly bean. All right, last bag, bag number five. Here it is. What else did I pick up? Some hologram foil card stock. I just bought some of this at Walmart, but a lot larger, like a full size, like a full card stock. But if you're looking for a mini version, this is perfect for like smaller craft projects. You actually get a lot of metallic colors. All right, who likes drawing? I love drawing. They actually have a manga drawing book and it just basically teaches you step-by-step step at how to draw. There's some blank sheets in here. So perfect. I think this also makes a really good gift. And the artwork in here is so cute. I found the wildest gift bags. I don't think I've ever seen a tie-dye gift bag. I love tie-dye. And the fact that they're in a gift bag with like a metallic 
holographic, love it even more. So this one's kind of like the wild, warm colored. This one's the purple and blue cool tone. This one's like the rainbow, bright red. And then this was just cute. Look how fun that is. Bunch of lollipop, rainbowy candies, giant rainbow sprinkly cupcake. And again, if you don't use them for gifts, you can always use them in your crafting, in your junk journals, of course. And the last thing that I found, <laughs> Okay, I could not resist this. You guys, this was on sale for 60 cents. 60 cents, two little gingerbread cookies. I know Christmas is over, but I'm still gonna decorate these. Who watched the video where I decorated that giant gingerbread cookie? I think there was two of them. There was two giant gingerbread cookie. Well, this is like their children. These are like their small, tiny little cookies. I wanna definitely put this together before it expires. It says that it'll expire in July of this year. So maybe I'll make this in a shorts. Hopefully the cookies inside are not broken. That is it, that is my giant Dollar Tree haul. Aren't there some amazing finds? I couldn't believe it. I was so excited to see all of the beautiful Valentine's Day things that they had out. I am wishing you lots of love and happiness today. I've got more haul videos coming up, so I will see you in my next one. Bye, cookies. Bye.